9-11 truthers will tell you that the World Trade Center buildings collapsed as a result of a controlled demolition that was planned and orchestrated by factions within the federal government. This video confronts ideas surrounding these assertions. These particular shots of the second plane colliding with the South Tower show the level of damage incurred and the point at which the structural damage was endured by the tower. Apparent in all of these images that we see, and very informative, is exactly how the plane enters the building, the devastating level of destruction that the building incurred, and precisely where the plane hit. This is a key factor to be considered. Primary structural damage occurs at the far side from the North Tower. And that's precisely where the collapse begins. The outer supports begin to bend in. And then this induces the subsequent collapse. There are many arguments out there that will defend the position that this was caused by a demolition. But our purposes here are to simply examine the video evidence and to form conclusions based on what we see. From the rest of the building, can we go to the tape now? Here we go, right here. This is, I mean, when you look at it, the building has collapsed. That tower just came down. And we don't see any of the explosions that you would expect to see were this a demolition uh, causing this event. Obviously, the building is collapsing in on itself as the structure underneath it fails on the exact side where the plane hit. So the question becomes emphatically, is setting aside the fact that in all of these shots, we don't see these types of explosions that you would expect to see were it a demolition. Setting that aside, how, were, how did the demolition team exactly do it? How were they able to get this ex explosion to occur exactly where the plane hit the building? Uh, they would have either had to have known where the plane was going to hit, which seems impossible, or they would have had to have explosives throughout the entire structure of the building and just had immense control over how they were bringing the building down, which is impossible. Temperatures within certain points of the building reached over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, more than enough to produce weakening in the trusses and cause the bending that we see in these crucial shots just before the collapse of the buildings. The weakening of the trusses created a situation where far too much weight was distributed to the outer supports of the building, creating the bending moment and causing the building to ultimately fail precisely where the planes entered the building. And we see the same thing on the North Tower. Consider a comparison between a controlled demolition and what we see with the South Tower. Paying particular attention to the distribution of explosives, types of explosives, and exactly where the most primary explosives occur. Notice that the primary explosives occur at the base of the building. But we can also see that the explosives are very well distributed throughout the building, and the building collapses in a uniform fashion. Now what do we see with the South Tower collapse? 
Does it look similar to what we just saw? Does it look anything like what we just saw? Or does it look like a chaotic building collapse that's destroying buildings around it? But what I really want to know is, the demolition team, how did they do it? How did they pull it off? <laughs>